Hello and welcome to the lesson on solving quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. Before we start that, <clears throat> let's take a look at the do now. Okay. Um, on number one, x squared mi uh, minus 48 equals zero, you could move the 48 to the other side and square root both sides. So let's do that. You want to do it with x squared equals 48. So when we take square root of both sides, x is equal to the square root of 48, but it's actually plus or minus the square root of 48, okay? You gotta remember that when you're moving the term to the other side and you're square rooting it, that's a part, that is something you've gotta make sure you remember. So you wind up with x equals plus or minus four radical three, which is radical 48 simplified. Let's take a look at number two. X plus three squared equals 49. So let's square root both sides. You have X plus three equals plus or minus seven. On this one, you have two cases you have to examine. Number one, X plus three equals seven. The other one is X plus three equals negative seven. So when you move the three over here, you have X equals four. And over here, x equals negative 10. So you have two answers here. x equals 4, x equals negative 10. Okay, so that's going to help us as we move forward down here. So here's the quadratic formula. x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So step one, identify your a, b, and c terms. It just makes it easier. So on example one, a is two, b is nine, and c is negative five. So x is equal to negative nine plus or minus the square root of nine squared minus four times two times negative five all over two times two. Okay, so you have x equals negative 9 plus or minus, and we know it's going to be all over 4. When you simplify what's under the square root side, 9 squared is 81 plus 20, um, uh, excuse me, plus 40, all right, negative 4, negative 5, right? So you wind up with 121 under the radical sign. So x equals negative nine plus or minus 11 over four. So you've got two cases to examine here. Case number one, negative nine plus 11 over four. And case two, negative nine minus 11 over four. So negative nine plus 11 is two. Two, right, two over four is a half. Negative 9 minus 11 is negative 20 over 4, which is negative 5. So this quadratic equation has got two answers. 1 half and x equals negative 5. Okay. Let's take a look at example 2. A equals 1. B is negative 6. C is negative 3. So x equals negative negative 6 is 6 plus or minus the square root of negative 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 3. All right, so you've got a double negative here, right? Negative 4, negative 3 all over 2 times 1. So x is equal to 6 plus or minus the square root of, when you put all that under the radical sign, you get 48 over 2. We simplify square root of 48, 6 plus or minus 4 radical 3 over 2. Now we can distribute that to denominator and simplify this. 
So x equal to 3 plus or minus 2 radical 3. So you still get two answers, but you can write it this way. All right, you're not going to put the negative, the radical 3 in the calculator and get a decimal unless it asks you for an answer rounded to a certain number of digits. So uh, on the left, you've got answers, all right, real, you know, real number answers. And on the right, you can write the, um, uh, the answer as, as we did, 3 plus or minus 2 radical 3. So this has been the lesson on solving quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. And this lesson was brought directly to you from my dining room table.